Have you ever had a test idea, but you weren't quite sure how to make it happen? Or maybe when you're testing, you think, oh, this is such a struggle. This is really annoying to test. If that's the case, you may be dealing with a lack of testability. In this video, I'm going to share some ideas on how to tackle this and also talk about, well, what is testability anyway? First off, what is testability? Testability is the degree to which a software artifact supports testing in a given context. If the testability of the software artifact is high, then finding faults in the system, if it has any, is easier. But a simpler way of looking at it is how easy it is to test something. Sometimes testability can be poor and testing can be difficult. But one thing you should keep in mind is that a lack of testability isn't a problem for testers. It's a problem for testing and therefore a problem for the team. Now, when it comes to aspects of testability you should be looking into, there are some ideas that you could start off with. The first I suggest is observability. Observability concerns your ability to see what's happening. To address this, you could ask for access to logs if you don't already have access to this anyway. The second would be automatability. How easy it is to use test automation to run checks on the software under test. You may need to talk to your developers about this. Uh, one way you could address this is to ask them to add IDs. Another idea you could look into is controllability. Controllability is about how you can control what's happening. In my experience, I have found proxy tools to be very useful here. A proxy tool that I've used quite a bit is Charles Proxy, and I've got a blog series in getting started with Charles and some examples of tests you could run as a result of uh, using Charles Proxy. Here are some examples of test ideas you could use using a tool like Charles Proxy. You can edit requests. For example, you could remove mandatory fields and see how the backend copes. You could exceed the maximum number of characters a field in the UI allows. Or you could enter invalid data. A tool like Charles also enables you to edit responses on their way in. So sometimes you want to test some error codes and it can be hard to trigger them um, through the UI. Uh, using a proxy tool enables you to make something result in an error. You don't have to use this proxy tool, however. There are other proxy tools you could use, such as Proxyman, Zap Proxy, and so on. I have just found Charles Proxy to be very helpful and fairly user friendly. After watching this video, there are some resources I'd like to recommend so you can learn more about testability. The first one I suggest you look into is Testability Awakens, Moving Testability into New Dimensions by Maria Sheardmore. This is a great introduction into testability. She also goes a bit into the model that she and Ben Kelly came up with, Dimensions of Testability. Next, we have Team Guide to Software Testability, a book by Ash Winter and Rob Meany. This is a bit more of a deep dive into software testability and how it affects the team. James Park has an article called Heuristics of Software Testability. Here he talks a bit into what affects software testability in a project, such as project-related testability, intrinsic testability, and so on. If observability caught your attention, then I highly recommend you look into A.B. Banks's course on Test Automation University, Introduction to Observability for Test Automation. Here you get some hands-on practice to use tools that can help you with observability. Last but not least, we have Ashley Graff's article, 16 Ways Software Testability Can Assist Manual Test. This article is basically a treasure trove of ideas to help you improve testability in your team. She shares some concrete ideas on how to do this, such as clear error messages, reducing silent failures, controlling variables, regular error alerts, and so on. 
I highly recommend you look into this article if you're looking for not only concrete ideas, but also why you might want to implement them as well as how. Of course, I'm sharing all the links to these valuable resources in the description box below. Hope they prove to be useful. Enjoy.